Good afternoon, and welcome to our Wednesday Wisdom session today. We are talking about your dental and vision plans. They're two of the most popular plans that FREA members have, and we appreciate you uh, joining us today to explore those a little bit more in detail. My name is John Green with Association Member Benefits Advisors. I'm joined by your Executive Director, Ann Fagan, and my counterpart and co-host for today, James Johnson. We appreciate you being with us today. Just a couple of housekeeping details before we jump on off into our conversation today. We are recording this session. We've had people already reach out to us and say, hey, do you record this? I'm not feeling well or I'm going to be on the road. Yes, we do record these. Make them available later on the FRE website. And we can also email it to you as well if you need to be to uh, follow that link because you can need to share with your friends, your family members, things like that. You can do that. You'll also notice that all participants are in a listen only mode. And what that means is, is simply, it's not like the Brady Bunch Zoom meetings, but if you have a question, drop it into Q&A. And James and I can stop and uh, answer those questions. If it's something specific to what you have uh, an issue about, we can address that individually to you. But if it's something that would benefit the whole group, we can absolutely stop and share and have that conversation as well. Also, you'll notice there's a QR code in the bottom right-hand corner here. That is one of the best ways that you can get information about what we talk about today. If you'll just take your smartphone, open up your camera feature, you can hover over that QR code and get the little form that you can fill out. We'll show that at the end of the conversation today as well. So grab a pen and paper. It's a pretty short conversation today. Um, some new things that I've discovered that can help you out. But uh, before we do that, I'd like to uh, have a, a quick conversation with Ann. And Ann has been up in Tallahassee preparing for Panama City. So Ann, tell me what's going on at FREA these days. Okay, well, thank you so much, John. And uh, FYI, small commercial, I have the vision and dental and absolutely am pleased with it in no end. My husband has it also. It saves us a ton of money and very easy to work with. That's the end of my commercial. Uh, Tallahassee was interesting this year. As everybody knows in Florida, we are in a super majority. So that means that government is moving very quickly these days. There were some bills passed, one that definitely affects education, where we now have a voucher program throughout the state. People will get checks for their children and they will choose the schools they choose. That doesn't mean that public education isn't a choice also with charter schools, et cetera, and we are trying to get that point out there. At this time, 85% of the school children, school-age children in Florida are in public schools. And we are very proud of the Florida public schools. They do a very good job. And if they don't, they learn how to do a very good job. So we are happy with that. Uh, there were some other legislative things going on. The pension fund was not talked about this year. And we are very happy about that. We are of the mind of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And as we keep saying, Florida's pension fund is one of the strongest in the country. We are sitting right now with about $287 billion in assets uh, from companies all over the world. And yes, unfortunately, Russia is about $10 million of that, but we can't touch it because it is they have locked all, all transactions with Russia, so we can't take it out of there. FRS does an amazing job. Um, we owe the State Board of Administration a huge thank you all the time for keeping us healthy. We do have a very big retiree population. Just education retirees are 100,000 people. So that is what FREA represents. We represent our 11,000 plus members, but we also represent the other 100,000 retirees that are in the state of Florida still. So we were excited to be there. We talked to over 60 legislators and senators. We had a great time. We got lost all the time for anybody that's never been to the Capitol in Tallahassee. They are three buildings connected by bridges, you know, pedestrian bridges, and they all have square hallways that interconnect, but then there will be a corridor, or then the corridor will stop, or then you'll, and the numbers are not sequential. So, and then there's an elevator that goes to this floor, but it doesn't go to that floor. So we spent a lot of time <laughs> not wandering so much as uh, just finding our way about. We were not late to appointments. We did make it. It is a talent to get around in the Capitol, but it was fun. 
and it, it's always fun to represent our members. And thanks for letting me talk about it for a minute, John. The convention is coming up. Registration does go into a penalty phase on April 10th, where you'll be charged $50 more if you don't register by that time. And uh, we are having a ball. We've got over 100 people registered already. We're looking forward to having more. And it is in Panama City Beach. Check your maps. It's up here. It's way up there in that part of Florida. And it's a drive. It's seven hours from St. Pete. So I'll just let you know that. Thanks, John. And I'm going to go off screen now. But I am here if anybody has questions. And I'm taken away. Thank you, Anne. Appreciate it. If you haven't checked out the website for the convention, do that. Also look at the resort. It's a pretty incredible resort, and they've really done a lot of rebuilding after the hurricanes that have rolled through there. So take a look at it. I'm looking forward to being there with you, looking forward to sharing with you, but more importantly, just to uh, see each other and talk and uh, and catch up. So looking forward to having that next month. It's crazy to think that it is almost here. We're less than six weeks away. So uh, looking forward to that going forward there. Again, my name is John Green with Association Member Benefits Advisors. I live a little bit north of Houston with my wife who's an elementary school teacher, and I've spent the better part of my career in the classroom helping active educators understand what their retirement years are like. And so I appreciate the opportunity to share with you today a little bit about some of the concepts we're talking about, the partnership with the AMBA and FREA, and more importantly, answering any questions that you have about that. Feel free to drop those into Q&A. James and I'll be monitoring that throughout here. But Ann touched on this, especially with that conversation in, in Tallahassee. FREA represents the 11,000 plus members of the association and the 100,000 plus retired educators in the great state of Florida. And all the things that you worked for throughout your career, you are now enjoying because of the efforts of FREA and retired educators who did this before you. Those are things such as having a very strong pension plan. James and I deal with pension with associations all across the country that don't have pension systems that are near as strong as what you have in Florida. And that's a large part because of what FREA has done to make sure that that has stayed that way in their watchdog role. Preserving access to benefits, keeping you connected to your local community. FREA units coming out of COVID are starting back up again. Some of them are very active. I love when I get the emails from the Miami-Dade unit down there because they're so active, so much going on there. It's great to see. And so I'm looking forward to seeing you and your units uh, when you come up to the convention in, in May. But also FREA is there to connect you with special benefits, special exclusive discounts, things like that. And the one we're going to talk about today is probably the biggest, most widely enjoyed benefit for FREA members. And we'll get in and talk about that in a moment because there are many advantages of having FREA and AMBA together. They can fill those gaps of things that were not covered whenever you left the schoolhouse. Whenever you retired, you left behind good benefits. And now you're saying, where do I, where do I get these benefits going forward? You can keep those. They're portable if you leave the state for whatever reason. Now, many retirees, and I was on a, a webinar with folks from uh, Massachusetts this morning, there were just as many Massachusetts retirees in Florida on the webinar as there were in Massachusetts. But we also see uh, FREA members that will move closer to their grandchildren out of state as well. These benefits are all portable. They're not tied to any particular state network. And, and especially in the case of the conversation we're going to have today, you can extend your benefits to your parents or to your family members who may have aged out of your benefits. And we're talking about the dental and vision plans for one, but also maybe some long-term care plans if you're responsible for taking care of a parent or a loved one that you can extend benefits by being a member of FREA. So that's the importance of having that together. Our goals today are to cover the most popular benefits with FREA. That's the dental and vision benefits. Help you understand the plans, help you understand how they work. I'm going to show you a new benefit that I just discovered last week that for the dental vision policy, for the dental policy holders, that can really save you quite a bit of money. We're going to point that out today, help you make the most of your options out there and maximize your coverage and some of the unique features that come with your plans. So let's jump in and talk about the dental plan first. We're going to talk about the dental plan first and then the vision plan. But dental plan is for you as a retired educator and or your family members. 
you have two plans to choose from in Florida, and we'll talk about that. But the best thing about both of these plans is they give you great freedom to choose whatever dentist you want to use. You can use your own dentist. You can save if you stay within a network, even a little additional amount more, depending upon the type of plan you choose. The network dentist versus non-network dentist could be a, a, a more sizable disparity in coverage, but we're going to show you that. But we designed these plans to give you choice, but also to fit your budget. We know that you didn't get rich teaching, and we know that pensions don't make you rich after you retire. So we'll make sure that you have proper coverage or access to coverage, but at a cost-effective rate. All of these plans are done by Emeritus. They're provided by Emeritus. is the largest company that handles dental and, and uh, uh, coverage in the nation. They've got peace of mind that you've got an extensive network, as well as you've got a solid company that backs it up. The nice flexibility about these plans, you can enroll whenever you want to. So it's not like you have a one-time open enrollment period, and then after that, you're done. You can enroll whenever you want. If you wanted to enroll today, you could be eligible to uh, start receiving benefits next week. When you get to the end of the month, uh, closer to the end of the month, you may have to then wait to the first of the next month to get it to kick in. But there's really not much of a waiting period, if anything at all. No long-term contracts. You're not locked into a two-year or three-year contract like a lot of other dental plans are. Adult children and your parents are eligible. Again, it's another feature that can really make a difference as part of your FRA membership. This plan has, offers a two-year rate lock so that you know that you can levelize your premium. You don't have to worry about it going up over a small period of time. Again, that helps with your budget there. And it's got a very unique rewards program. James and I have been doing this for many, many years. I have not seen a dental plan that has a rewards program like this. And I'm going to show you how that works when we drive through here a little bit more. All right, so let's open up and take a look. You have two different plans in the state of Florida through FREA. Not every association across the country has two plans, but you do in Florida. So it gives you a nice balance, uh, an opportunity to take a value plan if necessary. Really, the main differences are the amount of coverage that you receive on an annual basis and then how some of those uh, benefits are paid out, uh, depending upon whether you go to a network or a non-network dentist out there. So if you have a platinum plan, you get up to $1,500 a year worth of coverage. Gold plan is $1,000 a year. The types of uh, procedures that you receive across the board are broken down into three different types of coverage, um, or three different types. One is preventative, two is basic services, and three is major services. So your routine cleanings, x-rays, oral exams, things like that, in both plans are covered 100%. Okay, so you go to the dentist, those things are covered 100%, and we want you to use your benefits. We want you to have good oral health care because not only does it lead to overall good health care or good health, it also gives you some reward opportunities here in a moment, and I'll share that with you as well. For type 2 basic stuff such as fillings, dentures, repair, and general anesthesia, that's 80% covered under the platinum plan. Then after deductible, we'll talk about that. Under the gold plan, you have certain amounts that it pays towards this. I'm going to explain that a little bit more in, in, in a moment, but this MCE that I'm going to address in a moment, you have certain amounts that are paid towards that coverage. That's how the gold plan keeps their cost lower by keep capping their expenses out there. On the type three, your major things such as crowns, dentures, root canals, oral surgery, things like that, it's a 50%. Um, under covered under the platinum plan after the deductible, and then under the you know, gold plan, there is a certain amount of money paid towards that particular procedure. There are some deductibles with this plan. There are $75 per person in a calendar year. There is no maximum deductible overall. It's $75 per person, no matter what, how uh, big your family is. They do waive that deductible for cleanings for your preventative type one stuff. So we want you to go get your free cleanings every year or twice a year. Now, we talked about that MCE earlier. If you're on the platinum plan, you don't have to worry about any of this. You see the platinum plan coverage over there. It's 100%, 80%, 50% coverage. You're deductible in there, and then you're good to go up to $1,500 a calendar year. Under the gold plan, and I'll call the gold plan that maybe they, the less costly option or the less expensive option, that type of thing out there. It's called maximum covered expense. 
it's the most that the plan will pay for a certain procedure. So with a filling, um, it's $73 that they will pay towards that. So if you go to an in-network dentist under the gold plan, chances are that that $73 is going to cover much more of the cost than if you went to an out-of-network dentist. It's still the $73 would give credit towards that, but it may be more on your back end that you have to pay for that, okay? You're responsible for any amount over that expense and the provider's fee in there. So that's what maximum covered expense is. Again, if you have the platinum plan, you don't have anything to worry about the maximum covered expense. Under the gold plan, there are limits by what the plan will pay for you. So that's how they keep the cost low and they make sure that it stays in line with what's out there for you. But if you under the gold plan, will use the network doctor, the network dentist, you're going to get closer to that, uh, that cost that is provided and covered for you. Now, I talked about the rewards program. This is such a unique rewards program to you because we want you to use your benefits. There's no other insurance plan, medical insurance, um, car insurance, homeowners, where you want to use your plan. But we want you to use your dental plan. And so when we've negotiated this on behalf of FREA, Emeritus said, if you will have at least one claim a year, so go see the dentist, go have your exam, and keep that dollar benefit below $750 under the platinum plan or $500 under the gold plan, you can carry over $250 worth of coverage or benefits into the next year up to a maximum of $1,000. I'm going to show you how this works in a moment. So to recap that, we want you to go see the dentist because good oral health not only prevents future claims, future decay issues, it also gives you overall good health. So use your benefits. Have at least one claim a year that stays under $750 if you have a platinum plan or under $500 if you have a gold plan and you can carry $250 of your annual credit over to the next year. So here's how this would work. Say you have a routine cleaning or a cavity filled in uh, this year. It costs $94. I'm just throwing a dollar figure out there. The maximum out of pocket or the maximum coverage that you have under the platinum plan is $1,500 or under the gold plan, so you're still fine. It stayed under that $500 or $750 uh, maximum benefit paid out in a year. You would then get to take your 2023 carryover of $250 into 2024, and you would have $1,750 on the platinum plan or $1,250 on the gold plan in 2024. We've had members that have said, I need to save up for some major surgery, or it could be new dental plans or an implant or something like that. They will save up their rewards and carry up over $1,000. So you could get $2,500 worth of coverage with the platinum plan or $2,000 worth of coverage with the gold plan that you could use for major crowns, multiple crowns, things like that root canals to be done. Again, we want you to use your dental benefits. This is a way to reward you for using them and to be able to save money and carry it forward going forward. Now we get some teachers that say, you know what, I still have some dental coverage through my, my school district or my spouse has it somewhere else, you know, that type of thing, you have the ability with this Emeritus plan that you can double dip. It's a really a neat situation. We do not coordinate benefits, meaning that you go to the dentist and one plan pays half of it and the other plan pays the other half. You simply have your provider file with Emeritus and with your other carrier, and you get the best of both worlds. So it's a great way if you know you've got a lot of dental work to be done, and you have other plans, get this FREA plan and match them up and you've got double the benefits or double dip the coverage there that way. All right, here's the plan rates. Two very economical plans. The platinum plan, which gives you up to $1,750 worth of annual coverage, plus all the rewards and things like that, and no um, caps on the, uh, the costs as far as what your the expense reimbursement is. $55 a member. $108 or 173 per month under the gold plan, quite a bit less, about $40, 76 and 124. There is a small application fee and you can see the rates right now, the current rates run through August of 23. The new rates will come out in August and they'll run for another couple of years or more. But uh, 
These plans are very popular. We've probably had closing in now on 4,000 new members who have taken these new plans because they see the value in it and they want to take care of their teeth as well. This is the newest benefit that I was not aware about, and I apologize if we've never shared this with you. I just discovered it last week. For Emeritus Dental policyholders, you get a free drug prescription card. It's not insurance. It's not replacement for Medicare Part D. It's not a substitute for that. But you can go out to um, over 60,000 pharmacies, save up to 65% on your generic drugs and 40% on your name brand subscriptions. Again, simply as being an Emeritus FREA dental policy holder. So if you are a policy holder and you're on our webinar today, thank you first and foremost for uh, being a policy holder. You can go out to emeritus.com. You can sign in or create your account out there and you can print your card and take that with you. Very simple and easy to do. It's free as part of your dental plan. So I'd highly encourage you to take advantage of that, save a little extra money and uh, help fight that inflation as you go forward. If you have questions about the dental plan, please put it into the Q&A feature. Let James and I answer those questions for you as we go forward. And uh, we're going to jump into the vision plan here real quickly, but I want to give you a last call if you've got questions to drop that into Q&A as well. All right, let's talk about vision, because a lot of times members will pair the two. They'll buy dental and vision together because of the value. Two separate companies provide those benefits. One, Emeritus for dental, VSP for vision. VSP is a very large vision network that's all across the country, but it does allow you freedom of choice to go outside of the network. So with VSP, you have the ability to choose from thousands of doctors all across rural parts of the state, rural parts of America, as well as metropolitan areas. Many of them, like your Walmart eye care centers, are a one-stop shop. You can go in and get your exams, as well as order your contacts, get your glasses and your lenses all in one spot. I use my VSP benefits by going to the eye care provider, the doctor, optician, there in the Walmart center, but then I'll take my prescriptions for my contacts and send them off to 1-800-CONTACTS. A little bit cheaper. Again, it's, it's however you want to do that. That's the way we do it, but it allows you the convenience, if you want to, to do it all at once. You get a vision exam every 12 months. If you need eyeglasses for a prescription, you have a $25 copay. Frames are covered every two years. You get an allowance, $150 to $170, depending upon the brand and the type. A lot of these, if you've got like just nighttime glasses or something like that, you can get them for far less than what that allowance is. And it's basically free glasses that you've got in there. But if you want really high-end designer glasses, then you can uh, get a discount on top of the allowance. That you, uh, that you have available to you as well. The lenses that go into your glasses, you have coverage for those every 12 months. That includes single vision, lined bifocal and trifocal lenses, and 100% coverage on your standard progressive lenses. Now I had last, just a few uh, hours earlier, had a question about non-lined bifocal and trifocal lenses. In that situation, you have a an allowance towards those, or you'll have a discount off of those particular um, extra features. And you've got an additional savings for your UV coating, your anti-scratch coating, things like that as well out there. For contact lens wearers, you get uh, an exam every 12 months instead of eyeglasses. So in the years that I want to just get contact lenses, then I get my prescription, I get my exam, it's done. If I want eyeglasses, I'll pay just a little bit extra to get an eyeglass exam in addition to my contact exam out there. Sunglasses, extra glasses, additional pairs, you get an additional savings on that. And then we have a lot of members that will save a ton of money by using the discount for LASIK surgery. 15% off of LASIK surgery, eliminate your glasses and contacts that way. So that's a way, again, that you can stretch your dollars more using the vision plan. So do a quick comparison just to kind of show you because you do have the ability, the flexibility. If you like a, a particular doctor that's not in the network, you can go that route or you can stay in the VSP network. If you stay in the VSP network, everything from your exams, your single lenses, 
those type of things are covered in full. You get allowances towards contacts and frames. Again, like I said, I will go in and get my exam from a VSP doctor, take my $150 allowance, my, my prescription, and use that with 100 contacts because I can get more contacts under that allowance that way. So it's really simple to go out that way. Out of network provider, you will get a certain allowance that will cover up to a certain dollar amount out there for contacts, for frames, things of that nature. So again, contacts and lenses, you get an exam every 12 months. For frames, they're available every 24 months out there. Okay. So just a simple plan comparison out there. Again, you can go out of network. You can stay in network. Very low expense rates for, uh, for, for premiums for these plans. Less than $12 a month for a member. And again, if you get contacts, that's easily covered just in one visit and exam out there. Member plus one, $21. Member in a family is $26. A family counts as anyone under the age of 26. So if you've got adult children who are over age 26, they would get a plan on their own uh, in regards to how they define a family going forward out there. It's a great question we just got in there. Okay, so those are the monthly rates out there. I can tell you, I've looked at other associations across the country. These are some of the best rates out there which means that uh, VSP has really negotiated some, uh, some good rates down there in Florida. If you've got questions, drop those into Q&A and chat. Be glad to answer those for you there. Just a quick reminder, you have a free benefit to you, which is called the AMBA Passport Program, the MyAMBA Discounts Program. They just refreshed all of their April offers. There are so many cultural attractions all throughout your major metropolitan areas down in Miami, Orlando, Tampa, St. Pete, all over the state where you can go in and save a significant amount of money on those museums, those attractions. This is the time when grandkids maybe start to visit you. People come down to Florida um, and start to visit you. Take them out, use them, use these discounts that way. Cruise ships, you know, you get a lot of Florida resident discounts. You can sometimes stack some of these discounts on top of that and get free gratuities, specialty dining, all those type of things, really take advantage of the travel stuff. Easter is this weekend. Mother's Day is not too far around the corner. If you're looking to send flowers, looking to send cookies um, to maybe a, somebody who's taking their finals here next month or graduation gifts, you can get all of those out here on the Passport program, save you quite a bit of money. And then the newest and probably the most popular benefit that's out there is the Whirlpool Inside Pass. If you need a, a major appliance or even just a desktop KitchenAid mixer, they are running hot deals right now where you can save up to 37% on appliances and an additional 10% off your small appliances, plus free shipping. It's pretty incredible. This has quickly become one of their most popular discounts that's out there. So, James, I know you've kind of kicked around the Passport program. Is there anything that you've seen out there that, uh, that you're a big fan of? I, I like the uh, the employee employee pricing kind of offers uh, similar to the Whirlpool. Apple has a the same sort of setup um, if you go through the Passport program, and then you know, of course just your your normal everyday expenses. If you if you'll stop a second and think before you go out to eat, look at your phone, plug in what what, what you're hungry for. Uh, you may very well have an opportunity to pop up and save some money, and you know bring more friends. There you go. There you go, James. I love it. And James mentioned a really great point. He talked about Apple employee pricing. You rarely see Apple products, your watches, your iPhones, your AirPods on sale. You get discounts just like Apple employees through the Passport program. So if you've got time to replace a phone, if you're thinking about technology gifts for grandkids or kids that are graduating from college or high school, here's a great time to go out and take advantage of that. Again, this is free as part of your FREA membership. So I highly encourage you, go check this out, go use this. I just got a report this past, uh, this, this morning that showed FREA members, in addition to other retired educators across the country, in the past 12 months have saved over $168,000 just by using Passport. That's stretching your pension dollars further and making your membership in FREA even more valuable. So take advantage of that. Just a quick reminder, we've got some more webinars coming up. We have a second webinar this month. Bob Bush with AARP is going to be joining us on the 20th to talk about how to avoid senior scams. 
I guarantee you my mom once a month, once a week, James's mom too, gets an email, gets a text, gets something that says, hey, your grandkids are need to get bailed out of jail or, or, you know, just crazy stuff. And my mom calls me and goes, are all the kids okay? You know, and it's just frustrating. Bob's going to tell us how you can take care of those senior scams and how to watch out for those things and what you need to do. Because just as we figure out how to solve them, they get more sophisticated. So we'll talk about that. We're going to talk about Medicare in May and how to protect your nest egg in June. So any questions you've got in there? Um, all right. Debbie asks, what's the, the, uh, the passport website? I'm going to go back one slide there. You can go to myambadiscounts.com, myambadiscounts.com, and it will convert you to the Passport Corporate website. So Passport is the provider. We've just given you the easy way to figure it out through myambadiscounts.com, but it will take you to the Passport program, and it'll say Passport Corporate. And if you have questions on how to sign in, all that kind of stuff like that, there's some phone numbers on there, but I'm going to show you a QR code here in a moment that can help you out with that. But to James's point, if you're going shopping, if you're thinking about traveling anywhere, I was on with a, a group of retirees from Massachusetts this morning, and they've got several that are going to, to Spain and to Scotland and Ireland. And we looked up stuff, and there is travel savings all over. And so I encourage you to go out there, take a look at it. You can't break it. You can play with it. They change the, the discounts all the time. It's myambadiscounts.com. Thank you for that question out there. So be on the lookout. Ann sends these uh, emails out very frequently to let you know how to register and highly encourage you to get involved with that. Uh, just a quick reminder, Ann mentioned that uh, they went and saw 60 legislators in, in Tallahassee last week and that FREA not only represents the 11,000 members who are active, but they represent the interests of another 100,000 retirees in the state of Florida. There's 100,000 people that need to be a member of FREA because you may not always have a super majority that represents your best interests on your pension. And you need to have numbers. Numbers speak loudly. Numbers speak volume. And it, it helps protect those things that you worked for all your career. So please tell friends about this educational webinar series give them an introduction, a taste of what they can find out if they become a member of FREA. So before I take last call for questions, Ann, is there anything you want to wrap us up with? Any uh, quick reminders on the convention as far as dates and stuff like that to register by? Well, the only, the only one is the April 10th date after that registration does go $50 higher. We will still accept reservations. However, we do lose uh, the slots that we save. In other words, the hotel releases any rooms that we have not registered for as when, once I send that hotel list in. We can still get you registered, but you may not get the $167 rate that we have, which is about $200 less than the normal go on the internet and look rate. Uh, it really is a great deal, and it's a beautiful resort. As I said, it is kind of the end of the earth for some of us, uh, <laughs> but once you get there, it's very private. It's very beautiful. It has its own private beach, and it's just a, a lovely co uh, kind of a reserve on the waterfront. There's seabirds and things like that, and you can just relax. You can kind of feel your whole body just unclench once you get there. So it is lovely. However, we also have wonderful things going on inside during the heat of the day. And those are a terrific speaker named Dr. Simi Rayford. She is an inspirational speaker that's amazing from Jacksonville. We have other things going on. If you are a unit officer, anything like that, we do have training sessions. We do some business, but we have a lot of fun too, but we try to make it worth your while when you do sign up. There is a full timeline on the website. You just have to click on the events tab on the website, FREA.org, and you'll see it. The scams thing, I just wanna say, I was talking to my mom last night. She's 92. She's sharper than sharp. I hope I'm that in that good a shape when I get to 92. She was telling me she always asks me to look up charities because she gets the mail. 
They come in the mail. And she said, could you look up? And I go into a company called GuideStar because we are a nonprofit. We're part of it and I can look it up. Will you look up this charity? Well, it is a real charity. However, 72% of their money goes to administrative costs. That means that if you give them a dollar, 72% of it goes to the people that are running the organization. So if you think you're donating to, let's say Native American children and their education or something like that, they're not getting very much of it. So please be careful. We've all worked very hard for our dollars. We don't want to throw them away. What the charities that I donate to, I look, and if they're below 90% going to the actual charity I'm giving it for, I don't give that money because it's, it's not, it's not, I don't even know, it's not honest as far as I'm concerned. Somebody that works for a charity shouldn't be making, you know, a million dollars a year to take your money, basically. So like I said, hopefully Bob will be uh, ready to roll with those questions and have those tips for us on the 20th. So I'll be looking out for that as well. If you want information about these plans, these dental and vision plans we've talked about today, two things, take your smartphone, open up your camera feature, hover over that QR code and a form will pop up. And you can just simply say, I want a benefit review. I want information about dental vision. Someone will be contacting you to help take care of that for you. If you're on a smartphone or on a tablet and you can't use the, your camera feature, just simply email me at john.green at amba.info. It's J-O-N dot green, like the color at amba.info. So I appreciate you, Ann. Looking forward to seeing you next month in the Panama City. Like I said, uh, the, every time I see that resort, I'm pretty excited about just getting down there to see that. But more importantly, to have fun with your group. We had a great time in Orlando last year. Looking forward to it again this year. So um, if you've got questions, James and I will hang around just a little bit after we hang up here and, uh, you know, answer those questions for you. You can put them into Q&A. You can hold up your hand. I can unmute you, whatever you want to do. But have a tremendous Easter weekend, and we look forward to seeing you next month. Uh, we'll actually look forward to seeing you on the 20th for the, uh, the Fraud Watch How to Avoid Senior Scams webinar. So everyone have a great weekend and take care. Goodbye.